Hello everybody, my name is Kala Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to use a, a careful portable spot welder uh, which uh, is you know uh, inexpensive and very easy to operate. The spot welders are used to connect uh, to create battery packs uh, like um, out of smaller batteries you can create battery packs or to connect wires to small watch batteries uh, like button batteries flat batteries uh, these batteries are not supposed to be uh, overheated or soldered with the soldering iron because it generates a lot of heat so you have to use a spot welder a spot welder does the welding with a current high DC current and it does it so quickly that it doesn't generate excessive amount of heat to damage the battery okay so here is how we use this uh, first um, what's included in the box so basically when you get this you will get the manual and uh, you will get the actual spot welder you will get USB-C charger and you will get the, the uh, you know welding cables that's what's included in the box so let me set the box aside and show you how to use this so mm, when you get this uh, it's usually not charged I've already charged this so it's fully charged but you have to let it sit and charge for a couple hours before you can actually do your welding and um, at the moment I have already done that so it's fully charged and I'm ready to go okay all right, so let's get started with this. Uh, in order to uh, uh, turn this on, you press this uh, button. And this is your power, um, welding power. This is your battery level. And these two lights, let me get a little thingy here to show you. These two lights will show you if it's automatic welding or manual welding. These four lights show you how much battery you have. And these six lights show you how much your welding power is. This is your ma manual welding trigger. This is power on off and this is welding level. So the same thing that I just said is also written on the in the owner's manual, which you could see right here. Everything I just said is written in the owner's manual that comes with it. Okay. So first, let me tell you how you turn it on. I'm going to zoom in so you can see much better. To turn it on, you press this button press and hold so now it's on as you can see my battery level is four lights that's maximum these two lights that are yellow or this currently is at automatic welding if I press now this is at manual welding automatic welding is, is such that when you want to weld something to this uh, let's say this uh, watch battery let's say I want to weld this little plate so once I put currently these are not connected so I'm gonna just show you once I put these together, it will trigger the machine and, and the current, high DC current goes through this to do the welding. But manual is that you have to put it here, hold it in place and then manually press the button, this button, manually press to trigger it. The problem with that is that you, when you're holding these with two hands, you don't have a third hand to press that. So I like the automatic and I recommend the automatic, which is this light to, to keep the yellow light to be on this one. This is your welding level. Level 6 is very strong for this little battery. So I'm going to go to maybe level 3 for this little battery. Okay, so let's, uh, let's show you now. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to plug this in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little plate here that I'm trying to weld there and let's go back to the top camera and watch how it welds just hold one as soon as I touch the other one the it will give me one second before the uh, current will go through so pay attention so that current went through this is welded and yeah it's, it's pretty pretty strong you know pretty strong this is level 3 by the way you could go higher and stronger but I think for a small battery like that level 3 is more than enough so 
uh, if your battery is smaller, let me cut this. If your battery is smaller, for, for, for example, if I want to attach a few of these AA batteries together, so I'm, I'm going to need to make the strips uh, uh, smaller. So I have cut this in half. And now these are smaller strips for smaller welding area. So in order to weld this, I'm going to put this down and watch and voila. It's welded nice and tight. And you could attach multiple batteries like that with a spot welder. Now again, let me unplug this and show you these. So currently I'm on level 3 of welding power. That's level 4, 5, and 6. And this is level 1, which is the lowest power. So 3 is like middle of the road, which is more ideal for most uh, applications. To turn it off, you press it and press and hold and it's off. And again, this is the manual trigger. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's what it is. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, it's not much in it. Uh, you could probably use... Uh, you Make sure when you're uh, attaching this to apply good pressure. Apply a lot of pressure because if you don't apply pressure, your, your welding will be very loose. So apply a lot of pressure on these wires. You are given one second. So you apply a lot of pressure like this and then it will arc and you can go from there. So I hope this was something useful and educational. Please make sure to like and subscribe.